Hola, bon dia. It's a new day here in the Algarve. This morning, when we woke up, Story the Bean was doing so much talking. I prepared to see a black screen for a moment because it's really dark in there, but I filmed her saying some words, and I believe you'll be able to hear her saying mama, you'll be able to hear her saying dada, and also, we think she said Eden for the first time. You can be the judge as to whether those sounds sounded exactly like what I said they were, but to me, there was a clear Eden, Mama and Dada there, possibly even a Nana. So, Story the Bean is finding her voice and it is very, very interesting to hear. Good morning. She's had her morning bottle and now we're having baby rice outside in the front room, listening to some music on the radio. She seems to like music. We think that when she gets older, she'll like listening to music again even more. It's one thing that she's naturally drawn to. Even when Sasha was pregnant, Story was kicking away whenever we played songs, so she may be a music lover. What are you up to now? Bit of tummy time. <laughs> you look cute like that. Looks like she's interested in the crunchy texture of this floor mat. <laughs> you like crunchy things, don't you? It's a bit grey and miserable out there today, so I don't think we're going to be going very far. I'm really glad that we went out yesterday to go and see that amazing viewpoint, because we haven't got many days here left, so if it's like this for the rest of the week, then we would have missed out on such a stunning view. We didn't actually vlog it, but yesterday we had a bit of a traumatic experience. Eden the dog ran away for two hours and we couldn't find her. I put up a little video on our behind the scenes section for our patrons to view, but I haven't said anything about it in the vlog. We spent the whole morning just searching around and it was quite an experience, but I'm so glad that she's back now. It was quite a heart racing time and it really made us realize that we need to keep two eyes on Eden as much as we keep two eyes on Story too, because she's just as vulnerable and just as dependent. So thank God Eden is still in our life, otherwise today could have been a very, very different tone. I've actually been quite enjoying putting up the behind the scenes videos because they're so quick and simple to do. Just film it straight off of my phone and upload it straight to our second YouTube channel so anybody who's an eight miler can see what happens and fills in the gaps because like I've said before with these vlogs, we film all day, but sometimes there's bits in between that don't get covered. While I was on there putting up the behind the scenes, I also put up a few more images for people to download. So check out the free download library and you'll find some more pictures in there. And I'm gonna add some more today, I think. All the information about how to become an eight miler pops up at the end of this video. So you can check it out if you're interested. Are you waving? Are you waving? It's kind of a wave. That's how we wave. <laughs> Good girl. Ooh. Bon dia. So our plan for the day is very relaxed. We are just all up, starting to get up and get ready for the day. And Story is having a bath. Hello. What's this morning bath? Hey. Look at that. Fun. You're sitting up wow, by yourself. you're sitting by yourself. Oops. Oops. <laughs> it's a bit slippery for sitting by yourself. <laughs> yeah. oh. Story went to bed without a bath last night because <laughs> we got back quite late and she was knackered, so I didn't want to put her in water. She just went straight into the crib, so it is bath time this morning. We actually picked up some croissants and things for breakfast as well on our way home last night, so we don't need to do anything this morning. And then a bit later, I think we might do a little walk to the marina, take Eden with us. What do you think? Yeah, Eden deserves some us time. <laughs> Hi! Look at, look at, look at you! Look at 
you got so much more back strength now. She can push herself no. forward from a seated position all by herself. And sometimes if I put her down on the floor, you can sit up all on your own, can't you? Wow, you want Papa's iPad. <laughs> well, did we just finish off this sentence? <laughs> You don't want Popeye's iPad, do you, Eden? <laughs> you do want to sleep on the sofa. Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Baby finger, where are you? Here I am, how do you do? <laughs> Can you hear the hen go cluck, cluck, cluck? Listen to the hen go cluck, cluck. Oh, it's okay, I want more lead. I'm not going to run away. <laughs> hey, mad dog. Acting like you've never been out. We're off on our walk and we're tracing the route in which Eden got lost. So Eden, you came all the way, all the way out here, didn't you? You left the complex, walked all the way down this road and ended up in there somewhere. I'm just imagining the journey. <laughs> you crazy dog. No lead, no nothing. So your walk's still going on. There's a dog barking over there. Did that dog bark at you? <laughs> so, see this cafe here on the left? Up the stairs and behind. That's where she was. What a naughty dog. That's where we found her, under this table here. So we're laughing about it now, but Eden did actually go on quite a dangerous journey across the busy road. I'm very glad it's turned out all right. This is the tourist transport train, isn't it, Sash? Yeah. Picks up everyone from the villas, takes them into town. Every time we've been driving around town, we've seen people walking down this pathway on their way to dinner in the evenings. And we've heard that the marina and the central part is only 15 minutes away. So we decided we can't spend a whole week here and not check it out ourselves. It's very pleasant around here, perhaps a little bit too sterile for a living area. A bit more of like a holiday destination. Loads of places for Eden to go running, loads of green space. It is nice and it's very well kept. I like Villamora. We're almost down at the marina. You found some rental properties or just to buy? What's the average it's price? A studio apartment, 300 metres from the beach, 63,500. Okay. But that's just the studio. Also, it doesn't show the room. That one's 58,000. I presume that's the view. No, that's the shared ownership. Oh, okay. This one's a three bedroom place, 84,000. Hmm. Don't show, show much of the inside, though, do they? No. Oh, hang on, this one does. 93,000 pounds. That's what it looks like on the inside. There's a studio. Prices are quite affordable, aren't they? If you want a studio. Yeah, for a studio. I bet they won't allow pets either. <laughs> okay, we're down by the marina. How long did that take? Didn't time it. Didn't feel that long, though. Didn't feel that long. If we were walking fast, you probably could have done it in 15 minutes. Okay, we've plonked ourselves right down on the corner here. Get a little break. Give Story her bottle. <laughs> yeah, cake time. Look at this. This, to me, is the perfect kind of chocolate cake. Look how dense that looks. Can you see how dense that looks? You hear me, Story? That's how I like my chocolate cake to be made, all right? If you ever make me a chocolate cake, please make it like this, okay? You haven't tried it yet. Yeah, hang on, let's just shake on it. Let's shake on it. All right, deal. <laughs> I got a slice of tiramisu cake and we both got black coffees as well. Okay, we finished with our little coffee break. We're just walking down the harbour now to see what else is here. Lots of restaurants, places to get your seafood. Story's gone to sleep. She's having a nice nap in there. Nice gelato stand. There are some nice looking places to eat here, aren't there, Sash? Hmm. I'm noticing though that some of the prices are really high. Some of the prices are really reasonable. You get both sides of the story here. We're just walking home. I've noticed there's some kind of ruin here. It's quite nice, wherever that is. A late Roman ruin, according to this sign. Home. Story's having new food today. Yeah. Mummy made a new batch, didn't you? This one's got garlic in it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you enjoying it? 
How's she doing with it? She's nearly finished, look. Oh, she does like a savoury dish, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. That was three big spoons. She's like a nanny, like a savoury dish. Mm, good girl. Is this your soap with a deer? <laughs> yeah, garlic flavour. Yum. It's sweet potato, carrot and butternut squash. With garlic. With garlic, yeah. Okay, it's everybody's dinner time now. Bug is making up the salad. What are you doing over there? It is a simple sort of salad. <laughs> Beetroot and leaves. Beetroot and leaves? <laughs> yeah. We have cracked open a bottle of wine as well tonight. What is it? It's the white wine. We also have some raviolis on the stove. I think they're just spinach and mozzarella. I'm looking forward to it though because I'm getting extremely hungry. Let me taste this wine see what it's like. Yeah, I like that. It's good. Go good with the pasta, I think. Cheers. And dinner is served. Enjoy. I will. <laughs> you want to go out? Come on then. You're committed. I'll watch you. <laughs> Make sure you don't run away. What are you doing? Mm, trying to escape over there again. Now, Aiden. Can you apologise to us for what you did to us yesterday? Hmm? No, you can't. You have no idea how terrified we were, eh? You're with us all day today though, so hopefully you don't feel neglected. Were you seeking attention? <laughs> Never do that again though. We were absolutely terrified. <laughs> we love oh, you, Aiden. Aiden. Oh, we love Aiden. you. Oh. Tomorrow is actually going to be our last full day in the Algarve, so join us for that. I've added some new pictures for our 8 milers to enjoy in the free desktop gallery, so mm. check that out. Information on how to get into the 8 mile club at the end of this video. <laughs> Have you got a phrase of the day? Yes, I'm going to go with fal muito rápido, which means you speak too fast. Fal muito rápido. Yeah, fal muito rápido. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today. Hit the thumbs up button if you did and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. I bet you wish you could have seen where I went on my adventures. Yeah. Could you imagine how good it would be if I managed to film it? I could show you later. And you'd be like, oh my god. <laughs> Eden, I just can't imagine it. I can't it. imagine it. Did you do a poo when you were out there by yourself? Because we didn't pick it up. Yeah, we didn't know it was there. Oh my goodness.